Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you how to make another beautiful wallet. Super easy. I'm not saying, I'm not kidding everyone. It's really easy. You will say that I say it easy, but it's not. Alright, so, but I have to show you the template. Only one little template thing that you need to make it here. I'm going to fold the paper. This is the Xerox paper. I'm going to fold it in half. The length here I need. A inch and a quarter. Just mark right there. On the right side here, I'm gonna go up in two inch and a quarter. I'm using quarter quarter today, everyone. So on the left side here where we mark an a inch and a quarter, you go on to bring up to three inch and three four. So almost four inches. And then from here, you're going to go connect this line. And that's it. That's the only time that you do the templates. How easy that is the template. All right. So now you're going to place on the interfacing. So you can cut this out. I have another interface and right here that I cut the rectangle and the size is 8 inch in a quarter by 13 inch in a quarter. Oh, about a quarter today. And I use midway interface. It. So it's daytime now. Last night, I have my back hurt, so I have to stop. This is, um, look at the fabric. Isn't that so beautiful? Check in my description, it came with five different things, five different fabrics, everyone. It is so, it's stunning, beautiful. That one, this one, and the one I used the other day. The red one that I used for my red envelope the other day. Look at this fabric, look at the flower, golden off and then this one is all half this shiny golden kind of thing and this is the cat for the new year I'm gonna make some new year envelope for the Vietnamese new year come in in two weeks look at that adorable and this one this one I have in the past but it came with five of them it was so adorable Love this fabric. Check it out in my description. It's really cheap too. And then this one, we're going to place it in here also. When I cut, I'm going to make sure I have a quarter of an inseam allowance. This fabric, I don't want to leave too big. A quarter of an inch is good enough for me. So go ahead and iron this on. And then cut it out. You know, sometimes when you go to the different the, the store and then some kind of the smell or something, it reminds you something. <laughs> something remind you something. Yesterday, I went to one of the supermarket. It remind me when I first came into America. Good memory, too. When I first came here, I walked by the cheese department. You know, like they have cheese and everything my goodness I thought I die I say oh my god I feel like a dead body or something they sell in the store smells so bad and I couldn't stand it when I first came here now I get used to it I don't eat a lot of cheese so at my kid um but we don't mind them i get used to it i guess let me cut this out first and then i know where to go for that one so i'm gonna cut a quarter up and in here as long as you have the interface and cut it right 
then you're fine. You don't need to worry. You cut an extra, but you don't need to worry about cutting the straight line or not straight. I remember my mom, stay straight. I told my kid the other day, my mom, would. she taught me how to sew and she like, try to stay straight. I told my kid that and my kid looked at me and said like, you stray all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to this side and I'm going to, where is it? Oh, I'm going to place this in here and I'm going to cut another one. So I'm trying to see which way I can see fabric. This way is okay. So everyone, after I cut the other side for the red, the red right here i'm going to sew follow the interfacing and sew the end together with this two only one line right here this side right here i'm only cut one piece i don't cut two so you go on to fold on this side like this the right side together the fold is right here you're gonna go ahead and top stitch close to the fold tops to this side i just have to share with you something sometimes people ask me where i put my dread if i don't have the small one i use the big giant one because i use a lot so i and if you put it on the table it kind of to roll all over the place sometimes it's stuck and it you know it's not good i usually put in the cup and just put it right in front of it okay everyone after i sew this line right there and then the top stitch I sew on this side. You go on to do two in one. You're gonna turn this side out like that. Really, really dark outside, and it's I have to turn the lights on in here. And also, I'm on the floor, not the news. So on here, you're gonna go ahead and top stitch this side. All right, you're gonna top stitch that, and then this piece right here, you go on to turn the inside out. Go ahead and iron it back, and then you go on to turn this side like this. Make sure those two lies on even. After you do this, you inside out. You're gonna follow the interface, and you're going to sew this straight like all the way to there. And the other piece right here, top stitch this one. So everyone, after I top stitch this one, this one right here, I sew this line. It going to be inside out. Very easy. Nothing to pin it. It just go here, go like this. Move this little to the big. Always go to from the small to big one, so you can get your hand in here and then pull. On the flower side, estimate about half an inch is right here. Away from the line right here where the top stitch, about half an inch. You're going to place this top of it like this, okay? All the way, straight. Okay, so it's like this. Let me just get the, because it's the same fabric you hardly see. So it's like this, okay? This is what I'm facing. That way. So now I need you to sew. You're going to sew a quarter of an inch like this, okay? Like, like this, like this one right here. Okay, just follow this line right here. A quarter of an inch, you're going to sew this in. Sew on the bottom. And then so on the side. Leave this open. This is the pocket, everyone. And then here, I'm gonna sew all the way. Just zoom it out a little bit so you can see. 
We have this one open, so now we're going to fold this two together. We're going to bring this over, but see this side right here? That's where we're going to fold it over. When you fold it over, make sure this two sides are even. When you flap it up, make sure this side is like this too. Hold this, hold it together like this, flapping this side. You're going to bring the red one over to meet with this one right here. Like that. And you can see everything meet so well here. After you clip it all together, you're going to mark the line right there. So I have about two, two and a half inch right here open. So you're going to start sewing from here a quarter up and it don't sew on the fold. This is the fold. So from here, a quarter up and in seam allowance go up to here. Leave this open. Go to here. Sew it up. So it from here all the way here a quarter up and it go all the way down. Okay, so before a quarter up and inch on the top, I'm gonna leave it there, turn this around, and I'm going to sew this line, okay? So every one after I sewed around and I left it here open and then I go to here and go to here. You can leave the top open if you like. So the top you can leave about 4 inches if you like. I like to leave it there. But it's all up to you everyone. It's here on the top much easier for you. Okay, so 4 inches on the top here. Remember this fold? So instead of leaving the side here, you can go from the side, the, the from the fold up all the way to here and then you leave this open right here in the middle about four inches like right here and then you skip go to here go down and that's it much easier that's just a little thing that i'd like to share with you so now go ahead i'm gonna go and trim the corners I out this everyone this little piece right here it's good enough for me but the top longer on the top is better because after that you're gonna top stitch anyway
So go ahead everyone, go iron all around. I'm gonna fold this down. You have a very beautiful wallet with two sides, right here one side and then the inside too. After you're done, you go ahead and top stitch this part. On the top, go all the way down to here and go down to here. Look at that, with the pocket right here and then it's inside too. It is so beautiful. And now with the flap coming down and it's nice and and pretty very very good sign so i'm going to add one button right in the middle and for the new year you are not supposed to use anything white so i'm going to use the gold yellow color for that yellow button so fold it in half on the flap and i just want to mark a little bit right there i just want to make sure everything is good before i do the button so after the mark go down about half an inch it's right there i'm going to make a hole okay, so i'm going to go from here go to the holes that i i just poke through this hole right here go through push all the way this pointy be careful okay and then like this okay on the other side of the main side is going to be like that and in the back here i'm using this one is sticking out like that so it can snap down and i go on to place it right in there right like that you have to place it right here on the black one and then the 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 clear one just to push down the pointy Okay, so you're going to place it in here. Everything gonna stay in play for you. Okay, so now it's in and you have to push it down. And now it's in for one side. I always use the one that was sticking out like that so I can fold it down this way. And then I can press so I can get the other holes the other button the other side right right here i can see the mark right there okay and so only one side of the pocket right here i'm going to poke another holes where i just mark and do exactly the same and now that's it so beautiful i love this i love the detail of this thing i love the detail of the the different compartment in here so it it big enough everyone the whole thing um let me just fold it like here because you use the wallet this way you don't open the measure that cheating this is um four in and three three four so almost five in the high and then the long side eight inch and a quarter it's big so and then new year i can put the red envelope in there and then you can go around and then you can pass it to the kid down and then if you have some kind of money if you want to use that for a regular day you can do that too and then put some money on the side and then phone you need the phone now today you need the phone because you don't get the phone with you you'll die so put it in here too everything you need is go in one thing in here and then you snap you're all good to go look at this wallet everyone look at that look how beautiful it is from the back and the front and then you open this compartment on one side in the front and then in here you have the phone and then you have some other thing it can carry a lot of thing everyone this is so beautiful i love this it's detail is right here i love and then snap perfect it's easy to make too Stay safe and take care, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please continue to support my channel. Make sure you click on the like button when you see my video. That helped me a lot. So stay safe, everyone.